So let's do a quick redirect here instead of using that. Okay. Mm -hmm. So what we will do here is we're going to create a, uh, a private function here that we're going to use. So private function redirect like a this mm -hmm. redirect okay that way we can call the redirect here now we don't want to, in case uh we don't find any any of the items we are looking for we don't want to show the user any errors at all because it's completely unnecessary we just want to redirect the user so whether the i uh, the the thing worked or not uh, shouldn't be a problem so redirect here copy i will just come here right here where it says that and uh, paste same thing here we'll paste the redirect regardless what happened there because it's not really that important if there are any errors in this area redirect and redirect again like that okay so quite the busy function here now the redirect needs to be um, to be set so let's let's add a uh, let's use private here private redirect underscore two let's just set this to uh, an empty string like this redirect to like so and then when we come here we can set the redirect so we have a function here that will set redirect so that we don't have to type so much code we can just use a function so we'll say set underscore redirect mm -hmm. so how exactly do we set our redirect here so let me copy this before I continue so we set our redirect here. Like so. Let me copy this. Right here. Set redirect. Set redirect. And here as well. Set redirect. Mm -hmm. So we set the page to redirect to, and then once we are done, we do redirect. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. So now we need to go to the server and check what exactly we are, we want to redirect to. So here on the set redirect, that's where I want to, what I want is to show the server data whatever data is inside their server. So show me that, shall you? So even right here where I'm deleting nothing, I can click go oh, to undefined function set redirect. Ooh, how I keep forgetting these things, oh my God. So click on redirect there, set. All of these need to have a keyword, this, at the beginning otherwise they are not part of the class so this like a this okay mm -hmm. so now we have the server information so what i'm looking for is the um i don't know why i deleted that redirect in the beginning but anyway we can fix that back so there's a redirect url oh no this is not what i'm looking for i'm looking for the referrer where are you referrer well why am i doing this when i can just search reef yes yes so this is the one right here HTTP referral. So this is the link from whence it came, from whence the redirect came from. So I will come here and uh, write in there. So we have to 
it's possible that this could not be set because sometimes it's not set if I just refresh the page there will be no referrer here so as you can see there is one here right cut but let's refresh the page ah, actually the referrer is still there surprise surprise now just take my word for it sometimes it's not there so what I will do is I will ask the question does this exist so if is set referrer let's use uh, server bam like that so we don't care about the value because this value will change over time so let's just ask if it exists at all so if is set referrer and it is not empty and copy and paste it is not equal to empty string uh -huh. so once we do this then we can redirect ourselves so we will set the value so i will say this redirect to uh, please note that i'm not using the dollar sign here even though i'm referring to the uh, the private variable there so i'm just setting it to what i need to is equal to server referral paste right there so this is all it's doing just uh, set that value now if it's not set then let's set the value to something else let's say um redirect to is equal to let's set it to just a very fixed value of um let's use a root shall we root and then shop that's about it actually like that so we we are taken back to the shop in case of anything that way we avoid showing errors and all that we just redirect okay so looking good and at this point here all we have to do is say redirect so to redirect we say location sorry my bad header and the screen is location and we just concatenate redirect to like so and of course fatality die okay very nice i think that does it our cart is complete now to give it a test run shall we so let's go back to the shop itself okay so i'm like okay i like this item milo isn't in our list so let's add that add the page isn't redirecting properly well you don't say now this happens if the page is redirected back to a spot where it's redirected again and again so we have done something wrong we have committed a crime so add to cart is here so let's see this in action now the possible thing that happened here is that uh, we were redirected to oh wait a minute page isn't redirecting properly wait add to cart oh sorry uh this is actually my bad we're not supposed to add this here why was i doing this in here you guys couldn't tell me anyway so we're supposed to do this in oh yeah no actually this is the correct place add to cart yeah it is no it is the correct place so i'm not going crazy yes so this redirect so let's see what's going on here so we set the redirect and then we redirect so once we redirect location redirect to so suspiciously let's look at what redirect to contains yes let's do a show 
and let's paste our guy in there so let's come back here and see why we are being redirected infinitely so so i will add milo Ooh. so we are not even getting to that part are we says add to cart number nine so we are not getting to the redirect oh no we do we are getting there we're just not dying yet so let's die very important click undefined variable redirect to Ooh. okay oh this thing loves to complain we need the this of course undefined property added to cart on 109 hmm so there's a dollar sign there which is wrong so let's remove that dollar sign oh so i think this is the problem we had here so let me copy that and paste it here let's see uh -huh. so maybe that was the problem so let's do this shop yes that looks interesting doesn't it Hmm. Now, the thing is, uh, our user may not understand that uh, we, uh, we actually added an item. So let's, let's, let's see how we can solve that. So here, I'll add again. Oh, no. It's re redirecting improperly again. So here it's telling me that uh, that redirect went to the shop which is correct is it not so i will refresh and click add okay so it's redirecting me to shop so let's go to shop here and let's see what's happening and this is shop so what is going on so something is fishy here Okay, so maybe what I will do here is let me remove this. Uh, let me remove that header location. Copy. Mm -hmm. I will. Yeah, let me just remove that. Let me come here to add where we are actually adding to the cart, which is the index page. Yes. And then when I get here. Uh, this redirect let me just paste the thing directly so let's try that again isn't redirecting properly oh my god what am I doing wrong here so at this point it's important to follow the breadcrumbs and see what exactly we are doing uh, wrong here okay so first of all let's just fix the problem by redirecting to let's redirect to the card for now so I will put root here because actually that is the better thing to do so I redirect to the card because our user won't know that they've added an item until they are taken to the cart. So, so there we go. So we have added the item here and there's 89. Did we try that many times? Oh, because it kept redirecting, that's why. Okay, so that is the price there. So it can get a bit hefty there. So we'll see how to put a comma in such a situation. Now let's try and redirect one of these if, we, if it's going to work out fine. And we do get the is not redirecting properly again. I think it was just a simple mistake here somewhere. Let me go through this again. Hmm. Oh, yes. Ah, yes, yes, yes. I had seen this before. So this right there. So if I don't put this, then it won't find the redirect to. So maybe it's getting another redirect to from somewhere else. Who knows okay so I think this should work here set redirect 
redirect okay uh yes yes yeah this is weird because it doesn't look like there's anything wrong okay we test again so i will go to my shop first let's try go to the shop first let's add one of these that isn't there so add and there we go and let's add the number bam okay so it's working now three four five okay pretty cool the only problem with this technique is that if the user tries to dial in a direct number like this uh, then they have a problem because now this will not be updated anyway because if I do that and refresh the page, you see that it hasn't updated. And also we can't allow somebody to put minus one as a quantity. So those are things to consider. We are going to see that in the next video.